In this exercise, we would like to find the means and the standard deviations of uh, x and y separately in uh, given this joint data. Joint meaning that uh, x was observed to be 3 at the same time as when y was observed to be 8. Again, x was observed to be 4 at the same time as y was observed to be 9. The second time when x was observed to be 4 again, y value had changed to 6, and so we record 4, 6. So they are joint in this sense. right? They are not just uh, a bag separately containing x and y. They are joint data. So in this case, uh, we want to do one variable stats on x and then separately one variable stats on y. right? That can be done. Or we can explore uh, the use of two variable stats. Okay, so here let's try to use the calculator's two variable statistics. First of all, we enter again the same thing using stat edit to enter the data for x and y. So we are just going to quickly enter x, 3, 4, 4, and then 6, 2, 3 into uh, first list. And then for second list, we will use 8, 9, 6 and 4, 5, 7. That's it. Okay. Now we perform stats, uh, calc, and because we have two random variables, we use two variable statistics. You could have performed it uh, twice with one variable on x and then one variable stats on y, but let's just use two variable statistics and telling the calculator that our x list is now one and our y list is now 2, and let's delete the frequency list because uh, these are raw data, repeated values are just re-entered uh, again, right? repeated again, so there is no frequency information separately. So performing two variable statistics allows us to quickly copy down the outcomes. The, the sample mean for x is 3.6667, the sample standard deviation for x will be 1.3663, say to four decimal place. The sample mean for y right, is going to be 6.5, and then sample mean, a uh, sample standard deviation for y is 1.8708. So you could have gotten these separately with two presses of the one variable statistics, one, one time for L1 and then another time for L2. That, that would have been fine as well. But here we have a second question on find the sample covariance of x and y. So uh, covariance of x and y, the sample version, the sample covariance of x and y, let's uh, try to recap. Uh, the calculator friendly formula is actually 1 minus n minus 1, sum of um, x, y, okay, minus n over n minus 1, x bar, y bar. Now, you can see that we already have x bar and y bar, and we know that n, the pairs, n pairs, there are 6 of them, so n is 6. So, this calculator formula is uh, easy because we just need to do 6 minus 1 times sum of x, y, r. This is the part where only two variable statistics calculation uh, gives you this value. So where is it? It's somewhere towards the end here, 139. Okay? This is the, the main contribution for using two variable statistics because it allows you to find the product of x, y, and it's meaningful because x and y values, the pairs here, it's meaningful to find 3 times 8 and 4 times 9 because they are observed uh, simultaneously. They are recorded in, with some relationship intact. So uh, we can then do this, 139, minus uh, 6 over 6 minus 1 times 3.6667 times uh, 6.5. Okay, so if you do this calculation, um, well, we could uh, just manually enter the data, but let me just show you how we could use the variable set uh, in the statistics uh, memory here. So what I want is the sum xy, so I call out vars, and in the summation here, in the second column here, you see this sum xy. So let's go to uh, row number five, sum xy, right? So divided by n minus one, so we know that's five. Okay. Minus, uh, I want six over five, so six over five, times 
times uh, x bar. So uh, let me just call out vars again, vars5 to get x bar number 2, and then vars5 again to get uh, y bar, so number 5. And your calculator knows that putting bracket with a value, with a value, it automatically means just like the normal algebra, uh, multiplication. So, so we just click enter, and the value is uh, negative 0 0.8. Okay, so this will be the sample covariance for this set of data.